IOM is a leading international organization on migration issues. We help to facilitate better understanding and cooperation on migration issues between countries of origin, transit, and receiving countries. We try in all this to, to put as a focus of our work the interest and the welfare of migrants. Kenya and uh, Chaban has a strong and growing partnership for development and in that respect IOM has been requested to provide support and implement programs that alleviate the suffering of people who have been affected by the post-election violence in Kenya. And we have extended our work to include also those who have been affected by the food shortages in 2008. The focus of our programs and the geographical locations that we work in are primarily in the North Rift Valley, but we also work in Northeast Kenya, Dadaab and the surrounding areas, and in Northwest Kenya. Kakuma and, and nearby areas. We have implemented uh, two projects, uh, both concluded, and we have a third one that has uh, commenced in early 2010. Now, these programs, although coming from different funding dockets, have components that are created to synergize with each other. These components uh, within the programs that IOM has implemented include psychosocial support, peace building and conflict prevention, shelter provision, livelihood support, counter human trafficking assistance. During uh, the early days of the post-election violence, the rates of, of trauma were very high and understandably so because families had lost everything that they owned and had lost a sense of security, sense of identity and so on and so forth. Now the acute phase of the emergency provided an entry point into uh, psychosocial support where there was trauma counselling and um, individual and household assessments geared towards understanding what some of the immediate needs of the affected and displaced families were. For example, the immediate need of the affected families was shelter and closely followed by a restoration of their immediate livelihoods. In addition, we look at affected populations further afield, for example, pastoralist communities in northern Kenya, specifically for IOM in the Turkana region, who are severely affected by the effects of, of protracted drought. And we also looked at issues of refugee hosting communities in northeastern Kenya. These communities are also severely affected by the continuous influx of vulnerable communities and uh, populations from Somalia into Kenya. And what the psychosocial support did in these areas was also to dig deeper into some of the socio-economic issues affecting such affected populations. And we can see that across the board, in any kind of intervention, we need to start off with psychosocial support, whether it's a complex emergency or a man-made or natural uh, disaster, we need to start with a psychosocial approach so that we can understand what the factors are that would influence, for example, additional displacement or negative social behavior on the part of, for example, youth. When we were the camps, most of the people were saying, we want to go back to the farms. But through counseling, because they used to group people, all people, the youth, men, ladies aside, then they used to, you had to talk out what you feel, it healed my soul. There was that kind of guilt, hatred inside my heart, but through counseling I was, I was healed, yes. Through the counseling which uh, it was being provided to me, I was able to look forward and think of training myself to be a professional counselor so that I may be able to help my colleagues whom we were all IDPs there so that they may not remain there. I was able to, to look forward and look away of how I can go back to school and also get my own certificate like other people. And that I encourage myself that it is never too late, that even though the, the, the conflict 
or the experience have bring me down, I still have enough time to wake up again and do it better. One of the biggest problems that we found on the ground was the issue of um, rustling, where we find uh, that um, the neighboring communities come and attack the communities in a given area, like in this area of Morangubin, and then all their goats are stolen or all their sheep are stolen. And uh, sheep and goats is the only thing that most of them know how to do for their livelihood. So when a family wakes up one morning and all the animals are taken, they really don't know where to go from there. To find the men that mostly take care of the animals are just sitting around all day, you know, just doing nothing, getting into depression or starting to drink, or really neglecting themselves. We have been informed that two men committed suicide because their animals were stolen. Uh, they didn't have any way of supporting their children, their wives, and they basically just felt hopeless and there was nothing to live for anymore. Our casting sessions have been uh, pretty fruitful and this we know by the responses that we are getting from the community members. They have told us that um, we have kind of taught them to almost be able to rely on themselves, to be able to provide for their needs, to kind of uh, talk through some of the issues that they are having and uh, being able to really deal with those day-to-day -day challenges that they are facing. This for us is just a beginning of the work that we are to do with them. And we are hoping to be able to be here for uh, probably a longer time so that we can evaluate the proper impact of what our program is having on the ground. IOM uh, entered into discussions with the government of Japan through the Embassy of Japan and indeed with full collaboration with the Ministry of State for Special Programs in October of 2008. During this time, we designed a program that was geared towards responding to the immediate shelter needs of affected populations. But as we designed the program, we realized, and based on psychosocial um, assessments that were conducted earlier on in 2008, that we had to anchor the intervention in peace building. So the foundation for such a shelter project was peace building. And this allowed us to look at the shelter needs and the livelihoods needs of returning families affected by the post-election violence, but always using peace building, reconciliation and conflict prevention as the basis for any intervention. Since the government initiated Operation Rudi Nyumbani, which saw the IDPs that were displaced return back to their farms, uh, IOM in partnership with Government of Kenya and other partners, local NGOs and other UN agencies, uh, began interventions, for example, the livelihoods programs, the shelter programs, all these were capped under the peace building program. Um, in 2008, IOM uh, constructed 700 units under the UN funding, and in 2000. Nine, IOM constructed 8,700 shelters under the Government of Japan funding. Uh, later in 2010, um, supported by Ministry of Special Programs and funded by ADB, IOM has constructed 2,089 shelters and we project to do 3,500 shelters in the first three months of 2011. And right now we're in the process of bidding for 2,400 shelters to be constructed by June as the deadline put in by the government. The indicators of the successful intervention of this project have been that the farmers were able to cultivate their land. We have seen children are able to go to school in a peaceful manner. There has been great coexistence and high interactions between the two neighbors. This gives us hope for the future of this region. The IOM assessment team uh, called for an interview here. They started with the skilled labor and they recruited many of them. They took from different communities, including uh, women. It was first time some people have uh, seen women holding a hammer and hitting nails. Uh, it was gender sensitive. In fact. Na shukuru kambuni ya IOM sana kwa sababu hata kule nyumbani tulikuwa tunajiuliza walikuwa wapi hata wangekuwa wametoa skills nyingi ambayo tunawana sasa. Chu wamekuwa watu wa shukuli, wametembea huko baka watu wengi wameza kuelemika wamefanya tuweze kuishi na mandugu zetu kwa upendo hata wakati nilikuwa huko nyumbani tu, tukaweza hata kwenda kusaidia mama ambaye alikuwa amepatwa na hiyo mambo ya violence tukaboma nyumba 
tukapelekea hata yeye kuku tukamsaidia na chakula na hiyo yote ni kwa sababu ya hao walikuja kutufunza na tunaona ni jambo mzuri wameweza kutusaidia katika kijiji na hata hiyo location yetu mzima sasa tulistukia tu manyumbi kichoma na tu kujua ni nani alichoma ndio tukatoka tukaanza kukaa nuiga mkambo tulikaa nuiga mkambo karibu mwaka mimi nilikucha hapa tarehe 5 mwezi wa 5 tangu siku hiyo nikakuja na yama kutoka huko chini Nimeka hapa mabati yalitolewa sikupata mabati lakini saa hii mimi shirika la Japan na ya OM kwa sababu hawa ndio wamenisaidia wakanipea mabati ndio mimi nikachengea nyumba saa hii mimi niko naishi ndani 2007 tulienda nakuru na uko kutokaishi na shida lakini fira nilisikia I, I, o, M, wanakuja tukutukutujengea mwesi waini. Nikasikia, he, kube watu mtapata manyumba. Nikasika familia yangu, na nikarudi na yapa, na ya wakafurahi. Fira tulirudi, tukaungana na mse. Sasa tuko familia moja.